You good? What's up guys, um, so working on my truck because the uh, radiator blew up, but anyway this is going to be kind of an intro video if I do go over and grab uh, a rampage, I'll post a couple pictures up right now, but basically what I'm doing right now, let's see if I can, let me flip it, basically what I'm working on right now is getting the radiator swapped out because today's Thursday, the radiator blew up yesterday, hopefully I get this done by tomorrow and have the tow hitch installed and then I can, uh, drive eight hours we'll pick up the rampage so i'm gonna start cracking on this sucker and i'll see how it goes okay so <clears throat> i'm editing the video for this rampage thing I kind of feel like an idiot because uh, I'm always busy doing something that I always forget to record. So imagine I got up at two in the morning, drove straight to uh, straight to Indiana to get the car, and now we're here. But uh, just eight nine hours of straight driving. So imagine that. Approximately ten hours later. So, got the radiator fixed, test drove that around, worked great. Um, I wanted to go throw away some trash to a dumpster and my brakes locked up in the back of that truck yesterday before, like, so I was about to go to bed and I decided to go throw some trash away. So, 20 minutes after that, all four or five hours of me running around town to get a caliper and fix the rear brake. So anyway, brake locks up, yada, yada, yada. Um, we just got done picking up the rampage, like I said, but there it is back there, if you can barely see it. Yeah, there you go. Well, anyway. So, so far the trucks, or the event, the trip has been very uneventful. We just kind of drove here, not a single problem. Just got gas, basically. The truck, not us. But, oh, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> so, the truck is really mint. Um, I'll record a video of it tomorrow, maybe, if it's nice out, because it's it's going to be midnight by the time we get home. It's a nine-hour drive from where I'm from, Kansas City, all the way to here. And so we left at 2.30 in the morning, drove all the way here, got here about 1 p.m. our time, 2 p.m. their time. 
now it's going to be about 11:30 ish by the time we get home but i'm not sure if that's based on our time zone or not so it might be 10 30 i don't know <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, so anyway, every good video got the vape in it. Damn it! So anyway, we're road tripping. Uh, we'll give you an update whenever we get back or something cool, stupid, bad happens. Because so far, like I said, the trip has been very uneventful, and I'm waiting for a wheel bearing or some stupid blowout or brake seize, brake or tire go flat. I don't know, but. We're road kill on it, nine hours for a $600 car, uh, whatever. So, even if it does all go bad, I'd just leave the $600 car on the side of the road. <laughs> whatever. Because it's cheaper than fixing my truck. Alright, see you guys later. Bye. Okay, so we just stopped at a gas station. DJ was checking around to make sure that the something wasn't getting hot. So this rear wheel right here feels like the brake's locked up. So we're gonna have to pull it off, uh, readjust the drum. If not, pull off the whole drum assembly, pull the pads out and call it good. Cause this side's pretty dang hot and I would not touch the drum. That's how hot it is. So we're gonna jack the sucker up, take the wheel off and pull the crap apart. So let's get it done. All right, so we just unloaded the adjustment, so now it freely so spins. Before, before it was like, yeah, and now it's like, wee. So it was the it was the drum pad inside. So it, we just took the star adjuster and loaded it towards the axle, which unloaded the the spring. So we're gonna That's throw fine. the wheel back on and get going again because we got like eight hours to go. Peace, guys. Because we're probably gonna have another messed up somewhere. <laughs> See ya. Alright, we're on our way back still. Uh, got another six-ish hours to go. Uh, so far, so good. Besides that brake caliper, or the brake rotor drum locking up, but it's all good. I checked the, we stopped like 25 minutes ago. I checked all the bearings, checked all the wheels, make sure they're, none of them are hot. Uh, so far, the only issue that's kind of freaking us out is that we're driving down the middle, like through Chicago on a six-lane highway, and the truck started to sputter and shut off, and the security light was blinking, which I've been having a security issue with the truck since I put the new radiator in. I'm not sure why, but sometimes you turn it on, it kills itself immediately, and goes, sick, and the security light will blink, then you just turn the car off and turn it back on, and it's fine. Well, this whole trip, we haven't had an issue, but driving back, it did that in the middle of the road, and I told him just pop it in neutral, turn, turn the key out, pull it back out, put it back in, turn it on, and it turned back on, put it in drive, kept it going, but that was kind of sketchy, because the engine was kind of, it was like the engine and the security were fighting, because it was turning injectors off while running, it was trying to keep itself running and killing itself constantly, and it finally died, and the RPMs like sputtered, and kept going lower and lower and lower, trying to run, and finally just died. But, no bueno with no power brakes running down the mid, like down the six lane highway, and that's not cool. So hopefully that doesn't do that again. Uh, other than that, it's going pretty good. So I just tell you right now that these roads suck. Um, I've never driven on road's so horrible and I really didn't notice until you have a trailer on the back but see the rampage back there still doing good so other than that it's pretty uneventful so I'll update you guys whenever something else comes up because right now there's nothing really special happening just a lot of driving just driving Show it to him. Uh, oh yeah so um there ain't nothing out here whole lot of nothing just old farm nothing. stuff more farming stuff and more parking stuff. Yeah, and to be honest, I'm not even sure what state we're in. I think we're still in Illinois. Yeah, we're still in Illinois. So we're just heading south to St. Louis from Illinois, I think, and nothing, just nothing. I'm literally watching YouTube. I have this phone stuck to the vent and watching YouTube videos while driving, uh, riding, uh, yeah, awesome roads. Because there's nothing to do. There's nothing to look at. There's nothing to read. It's just nothing six more hours all right see you guys later peace
just pulled the... Set it to the side too. And drive away. Yep, there he is. gonna put it over there by the pump. Yeah, I think I ripped it off this one. Digits. Can't play if we just watch that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we made it back. It's been almost 24 hours since we left. There's the rampage on the dolly. Oh my god! Ready to go to bed already, man. So I'll get you guys updated in the morning when I can actually show you the vehicle in the light. This will be fun. All right, next day we're gonna unload this sucker. And then I'll show you guys how it is, well, how nice it is. Um, yeah, so let's be fun. Okay, we're trying to get it off the trailer. Can't really lift it because there's a big lip. Kind of hard to move it. So, bad ideas are about to ensue. Try not to mind the traffic noise, I live on a busy highway, but here's the rampage. It's got the, uh, start with the outside. It says, this is a 1983, and I think all rampages have it this way, but it's got a four bolt pattern on it. Um, I guess I'll walk around. I think this has the GT package on it, so it's got these little fake hood vents on it and the scoop, but it's, really clean there's no rust anywhere the body's really really straight um, it's got a custom bumper delete um, did that after I bought it <clears throat> liner in it looks like someone put a cherry bomb exhaust on it the entire bottom of it is uh, rhino lined or some type of protection the whole bottom there's no rust anywhere um, brand new spare tire as far as I can tell these are brand new tires all around it too but let's go on the inside the sun won't blind the crap out of the camera so here's the door panels mint um, I think they're supposed to be speaker covers but I'm not sure because there is speaker covers in here Go grab them real quick it's behind me somewhere but these are these are speaker panels off of Daytona so from what I can tell this is what my Daytona ones look like and there's no way to actually stick that on there. It's the same fabric and everything, but I don't know how it hooks in there. Does it look like it's the 
just sits like this or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. There's a little screw panel holes in here, but who knows? Well, so anyway, the rest of the car. Get the sun glare out here. See the dash panel, all nice, pretty mint. Freaking sun. Uh, someone hooked up a manual fan switch. So I guess the uh, hide. What would it be? The temperature sensor switch something. I don't know for the fan. I can't remember they're called. It's a five-speed manual. Here's the gauge cluster. It's all nice. Uh, there's no radio in it because there used to be a sound system. Previous owner before me or before the last guy pulled it out. Ashtray. You know, your cigarette lighter because you need that. Um, this is a non-AC car. I don't know if it came with AC, but as you can see, there's no AC option. There's just heat and stuff. Get your storage cubby, I guess you call it. Got your cup holders, coin slots. It scoops back and forth. So I guess you could technically have this as a storage thing too. Um, other door panel. Freaking sun, Jesus Christ. Glove box. Nice. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, the transmission feels kind of weird. I think either the mechanism, like, it doesn't have cables, I don't think, but whatever's connected to the mechanism up front feels kind of weird. So this is neutral, I think. It's really hard to go in any gear. It's like it's misaligned or something. You can get it to go in the second, and then from there go into other gears, like the four, uh, down, up, reverse. Fifth, third, but like it doesn't want to go into first no matter what. Second, uh, fourth is around here somewhere. Second, fourth doesn't want to go in either. Fifth does. Now, third doesn't want to go in. It's very janky. I'm not sure. Well, let me. Oh, yeah. So, previous owner told me this has how many parts swapped in it? Like, apparently, the chairs are out of an Omni. Back here, there's actually plenty of room back here for stuff. I believe this is where the tire jack was stored. Um, there was a subwoofer back here, I think, and that was part of the sound system I was talking about. Uh, big back window, real basic headliner with a light, and that's about it. It's got manual crank up windows, as you saw. Um, it's a Frameless window. So you just pull this sucker up. Roll the other one up. This one kind of falls off track a little bit. But there you go. Um, yeah. There's no mirror currently. There's a Daytona mirror, or maybe it's just they use them all the 80s Dodges. I'm not sure. Sitting in these two giant boxes of parts I got came with it. Here's the key. I would start it up, but I think the battery died. It's the transmission's messed up. It doesn't want to go into gear, and the clutch pedal doesn't seem to do anything once you do get it into a gear. If it is a gear at all, it doesn't want to move. So there's that. But here's the full truck. It's I think it's a really great deal. It just kind of sucks we drove so far, but it's pretty worth it. This is only six hundred dollars, so. I like it. Um, I'll probably explain my plans in a different video, what I'm going to do with it. But for now, I think I'm just going to get it running and daily drive it or do something with it. Um, I will get, have a video out sometime about what I'm doing with it. And I'll go from there, but I uh, hope you guys like it.